Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to showcase some of my PC cards, some of the things that I collect outside of the obvious Orioles. You know, the Ripkins, the Mancinis, Machados, Palmers, Brooks Robinson, Eddie Murray, J just to name a few of those. Um, I am a Jake Fraley collector as well, and uh, I am the number one on Trading Card Database. I am... Uh, have the biggest collection, the largest collection. I figured I would take a minute and show you guys my PC of Jake Fraley. And it's not, to me, it's not that impressive, but I think it's going to be getting there and I want to show it again later. So here I am getting started. The way I do it is I take trading card database and I put it in a binder in order that the that the list is and the first two cards are his 2014-2015 LSU cards which I do not have have not even seen them heard of them so I'm hoping somebody from uh, LSU or somebody down in Baton Rouge will see this and say hey I've got these cards they gave them out of the game blah 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 and hopefully they'll find a way to me so it's kind of just a way to show people that no matter who it is, there are people to collect out there. I have a lot of fun collecting Fraley because not a lot of people keep him and I'm able to track down these cards that I want and I don't have to break the bank in order to do that. So this has been a lot of fun and it's going to be fun for the next, I don't know, six months or so as I finish this up or at least get as close as I can. So we're starting off with 2016 Bowman Draft. Uh, so that's his first Bowman card. First Bowman, Bowman Chrome, and then we got the blue down here. There's going to be a lot of blank pages in the beginning because I did not start with his Bowman Chrome. That page is completely empty. Uh, first Bowman Auto Purple and his green Bowman Chrome. Got his uh, purple first Bowman non-autograph and his refractor down here at the bottom. And then his gold paper at the top. That's numbered to 50 and the silver border numbered to 499. Then a couple prospect cards, um, New, New York Penn League, Hudson Valley, and I also have a card right there that is the Charlotte Stone Crabs from 2017 Choice that is not, it's not yet in the listing, and I'm keeping it out, but I still have that card right there. Uh, then we're going to get into the uh, 2016 Extra Edition. This is a pretty cool little set. Got die cuts. I don't know if everybody's seen that. But they have aspirations, status, they have different, uh, as you can see, this one's die cut right here. This is the one of one. Um, see if I can zoom in on it. Right there at the top. Barely see it, but that is the one of one auto. So that is the first of a few you will see in this binder. Yes, my one of ones are in a binder. Uh, all my cards will go in here that if they fit. So these Panini's got the dual materials. Uh, number to 99, number to 25. And then you got something called Future Threads. There's going to be a few of these in here. This one is numbered to 149. This is number to five up here. Two out of five. I actually had to bust that out of a BGS slab to get that in there. Um, number to 49. And then yet another one of one. Let's see if I can get over. This is one of the coolest cards I own. You can't you can see one of one right there. But that is a very nice looking card. Let's zoom back out. There we go. Um, finishing up the 2016 and moving into 2017 Pro Debut. This is base card. His green is orange. And then you're going to find a lot of missing cards here. Because this is where Bowman Chrome went. And I have yet to really start on Bowman Chrome. That is the only one I have. The Refractor Auto. And then we jump into 2020 Donruss. Where... I have probably about half of his Donruss, and you guys probably have already, you know, if you're putting together sets, you know that they have a ton of them. This is Blue Base. This is the Artist Proof. This is number 10. Uh, the Baby Shark, the Hollow, the Orange Hollow. I messed that up. The Orange Hollow, the Pink Hollow, the Purple Hollow, and the Independence, or the Stars. 
It's got the on fire emoji. That's numbered to 75. The 100 that's numbered to 100. And the president's uh, second one of one coming up right here. I'll zoom in on it. That right there is his one of one auto. Beside that is the number to five gold. Number to 10 right here. You can barely see it. And then up at the top is his uh, paint number to 49. Signature series. I only have one of those as well. Finish off with the yellow border and jump into Donner's Optic. I think I have like 22, 23 of the Optic cars. So I only have about half of them. There's a lot of these to be gotten. So I'm still slowly putting these together. Black border, blue border. I guess it's a Carolina blue. Um, here's another. This is my third one of one. Oh, let's see if I can, it's going to be on the back, but that is the Eagle in case nobody has seen the Donner's Optic one of ones. Uh, number two, um, 10 gold right here. So that's another low number one. We got some purples, some more autos, some teal velocities. These are velocities pink velocity and then an orange and then finishing up with the stars which is number 276 the independence day and jumping into absolute so there are many of these uh absolute cards and the chronicles cards that i am missing you're going to see that here this is the pink threads Let's see if i can see get it over there these are the pink threads here and the blue threads this one's they're both numbered. This one's numbered to 75. And then you got a single uh, relic and the dual relic rookie threads right there. And a completely empty page. Another completely empty page. And then the mosaic. As I can zoom back out now. Mosaic and origins, you see it in the background. So this is something I just recently got started on. I have a bunch of these on the way and another two blank pages. So five pages, I have about two cards. So to have 37, 38% of his collection, there is quite a bit. And some of those are right here. They don't fit into the um, pages. This is a cracked ice. This is numbered to five. I don't know if it is cracked ice or not, um, but it's the rookie ticket numbered to five. It's not in the database either. The Immaculate has a lot of uh, cards that don't fit into the binder. This is his one out of five auto. Uh, number to 49, the monochrome. Number to three out of Immaculate. The Colossal, number to 99. The number to 10, that's a nice piece of the jersey right there. 25. I still have tape on that. I hate that. And then you have the debut moments. This is the debut moments number out of 49. I have a few more back here. This is the debut moments numbered to 10. This is on a bat and a jersey up here. This is number to 25. This is the the blue bat and jersey and then we've got the what looks to be like batting glove type material number to 25 right there so those don't fit in there that's why there's some of them are empty but those are the ones that are out of the binder now we can get back into it um uh, diamond kings from 2020 his base his uh Artist Proof. The Artist Proof, of course, has the blue down here in the bottom. Then his dual autograph. And then a few more duels. This was number 25, number 99. That is his base dual relic. This is the number to 49 up here. There's a few different variations of this one. Then you got the blue frame relic, the gray frame, the plum, the red. And the wood border, which the wood border is number to 13. You know, probably, like, a lot of people probably haven't seen that one if they've done the Diamond Kings. 
but that is numbered 13. And then we jump into Prism, which has, we all know, has a ton of those. Uh, there are some one of ones in here also. Some nice uh, cosmic, some bronze donut circles, some gold. There is another one of one right here. I will zoom in on the gold vinyl. And we'll flip it over. And yeah, there it is. One of one right there. Got some more autos back here in the back, the Cosmic. I have trouble remembering which ones these are. These are donut circles, bronze, pink, bunch of autos in here, snake skins, the white sparkle donut circles. And then we finish up up here and start on select, which I don't have many of the select cards either. Out of my 200 and close to 250 uh, cards, I'm missing quite a few out of some of these sets, but I am working on select now. I did locate the one of one. I'll be getting that one very soon. This is numbered out of 10, 13. The orange right there. His auto, auto right there. This is another nice looking patch right here that's numbered to five. That's one out of five right there. Nice piece of the Mariners logo. And then we jump into Stadium Club. Oh, after we skip an entire page. So Stadium Club, you got his base, you got his auto, you got his black auto, his, what is that, like rainbow foil, red, the sepia, black base, blue base. This is the uh, first day issue. That's got a low print run on that one. Members only, also down here at the bottom, has the stamp right there. And then the photographer's proof, which is probably one a lot of people haven't seen either. So a couple nice ones there. And then the red, the sepia, the chrome auto, the chrome gold auto, and the refractor uh, from chrome and the X-Fractor as well. Then we start the tops flagship which is a pretty i got a bunch of these um done this is his base and his short print version of course that is his sp then he's got the 85 auto the black auto the gold auto the red auto i'm still looking for the one of one there then you have the the 502 montgomery that come in, it came in a different set right there so that looks just like his base card. This is the numbered out of 300. This is the advanced stats. Then you got baseball stars, auto, the, the black border, the gold border, the red border, missing the one of one, the black, the blue, the Father's Day, the foil board. So these came out of the complete set variations. Those are both going to be numbered. 1 to 229, uh, 1 to 264, right there. Because gold is gold foil, is stars that came out of complete set. Uh, this is the Independence Day 76, the orange border, the Mother's Day pink down here, his rainbow foil, and his purple, what's that, the Meyer, and then the blue. Uh, Turkey red, which is numbered to 50. So I am missing a few right here, printing plates and what have you. These are the five by sevens. This one, the base is numbered to 49. The gold is numbered to 10. So I have his base card and his SP and his turkey reds. They're all the same. They're all numbered 49 and the 10. Get up in the Turkey red chrome, the blue chrome. I'm missing the green chrome and the and the one of one super fractor. This is the vintage stock right there, and the yellow 
Walgreens border finishes off the tops and then goes right in alphabetical order to tops archives and archives I am missing just a couple so you had this this is his base and his SP you can see the the difference in the SP right there the mini and the mini auto the mini auto is numbered to 20 right there I'm missing the one of one but I have tracked it down and I will have that one shortly the green hollow the number to 175 purple, the number to uh, 75 red right here. Then you've got the, uh, what's that, silver number to 99, and then the, like the rainbow foil right there, or hologram, whatever they call it for archives. Goes in the tops chrome, and the tops chrome is the autograph base, the green, and the orange. And I do have another one of one right here, the printing plate. From Topps Chrome. That is the cyan printing plate, I believe. Yep. So there are a couple more of those to find, but that's in there as well. Um, Topps Chrome Black is the next one. This was a separate set that was sent out. Um, I have his gold, his red, his uh, silver, I guess, his base. I don't know which one that is. The orange is on the way. So I do have a few of those coming. And then Topps Chrome, what's that? Uh, Update Sapphire, I think. Maybe it's just Topps Chrome Sapphire. Yeah, that's Chrome Sapphire. I don't have any of the Update Sapphires. So two of those Sapphire cards. I'm still working on getting a few of those. And then the Clearly Authentic, which I have the entire rainbow coming. I've uh, just recently purchased it. There's two cards there. They are clear, so they're hard to see. They usually come in a one-touch. I actually cut them out of the one-touch and put them in the binder. So this page will be full next week. And then there is the number to 50 right here on the back. Eh, it's hard to see right there. But then we go into Tops Fire from 2020. The base, the blue, the red, the gold, the green, the pink. I am missing an onyx, which is number to 10 and the one of one. And then there's the other three. So I'm only missing the number to 10 and number to one on that. The Gypsy Queen, I have the entire rainbow of this. The, the base. Um, this is the bazooka back. This is the black one of one right here. If you can see it. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Nice. Pulled right in. So we got that and... The black and white, the blue variation, the logo swap. He also has the five by sevens. This is number to 49 in the 10, just like in the tops uh, flagship. The green, the blue. This is the no nameplate right here. Missing nameplate. Number to five red. And then silver. I think that's number to five. That's number to 10. I'm sorry. The red is number to 10. And then you get into Topps Heritage, some Heritage, some Chrome, the Mini, not too many missing on that one. Topps Holiday, and then the Topps Holiday Metallic. I did have this, this one's a French back. You can see that one. I don't have the base card on that page. It's on the other page, but I thought that was the base, but that is the French back. Um, this is from the Topps team set. This is, you see the number, is Seattle 14. So that's out of the team set. So it's a separate card. And then Topps total. I'm kicking myself on this one because I have all but the one of one. It was on eBay. The guy wanted $150 for it. I didn't want to pay that. So he pulled it down. I don't know if he ended up selling it or not, but he ultimately took the listing down. So I don't know where it's at. I've lost track of it. But those are the close to 250 Fraley cards that I have. I'm hoping I can show you guys some more down the road once I've finished purchasing this uh, selection. But I also have um, the Orioles team cards I've been working on. This is something new to my PC. The base, the vintage stock, number 99, the gold border, of course, number 2021. The red, which is numbered to 199 
199. The black border to 70. Independence Day 76. The orange 299. The greens the 499. The blue border parallel. The Meyer parallel and the Walgreens parallel. So gradually been working on that this year because I just recently started that. And what started the obsession was I'm going back and picking up the oldest team cards. And this is the oldest card that I actually have in my possession right now. It's the 1958 Tops uh, Orioles team card. And I just purchased the 56 or 57. So I'll have that one coming to me. And I'm going to put these put these away and just kind of keep some of the Orioles team cards with some of the pictures of the past. I think that's really cool. I like to mix my vintage and my, you know, my newer stuff as well. So that's going to be all I'm going to show you for today. It's just want to give you an insight into some of my collection and to what I'm working on right now. Like I said, the Orioles are obvious, but there's going to be another video for that. I hope to show you more into the collection. There's so many different things that I work on and I don't really have a lot of time to show those, but today I figured I'd show you what I'm looking for in Fraley. And then that way, if there's somebody out there holding a Fraley card, they know exactly who to contact. And one of these days I'll fill this up and hopefully give it to Jake himself so he can have it for, you know, when he gets older and pass it down to his kids or something. But that's really my goal with this. It's a lot of fun to do. So thank, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time. Later.